I bet you're wondering, Sierra, what the fuck is that? What did you do now? Just because you're quarantined doesn't mean all you can do is eat crappy food. Mm. You know what? I'm honestly like, I'm gonna be honest, this isn't even the worst thing I've eaten. Actually, no, it probably is because I really haven't eaten anything too crazy. But you guys, I made hot Cheeto mac and cheese. I just wanted to try it. Just like a little taste. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. Also, I'm wearing these blue light glasses because, well, I was on my computer all day and I just didn't take them off. And I feel like they're kind of cute. Cute. What? I'm so sorry. I don't know what they were doing over there. Anyways, I'm gonna do a Q&A while I eat this. Um, so where should we start? With the Q&A or with the food? Let's we'll start with the food. This is actually, like I really winged all of this. Like I saw Hachito mac and cheese online, but I don't know if there was a recipe for it when I saw it or... Because otherwise I just would have looked at that. Anyways, I just made mac and cheese. So butter, flour, heavy cream cheese, garlic salt, Cajun, pepper, and then noodles. And then I just put some hot Cheetos on it. I blended them and then put it on it. I wish I showed you guys how I made it, but I didn't. And I put a lot of hot Cheetos because I really wanted it to like get underneath. So I feel like up top, like look, it's just kind of like that, you know? Anyways, let me just shut up real quick. Oh my, oh my God, am I just like so obsessed with food? Like is anybody else excited? It's hot. Wow. Oh yeah, and then I baked it. 350 for like 15 minutes. Mm, okay. Let's get into the questions. First question, Roddy Rich or the baby? Honestly, personally Roddy Rich. As an overall though, I would say people prefer the baby, right? Wouldn't you say? Roddy Rich. Next question, does a dollar make you holla? Mm, in some cases, when I'm playing LCR and like I get past a dollar, like yeah, that shit makes me holler. But like if my paycheck comes and it's a dollar, like that's just not gonna make me holler. Or are they asking, does a dollar make me holler? Like am I a prostitute? No, no. Next question, who someone in your life you think would get arrested first and why? Great question. Absolutely great question. I think I look better without these. I would say my friend Leslie. She's just a little, mm, a little testy. She knows what she's doing. Honestly, I don't even know what she'd get arrested for. I don't even wanna, I don't even wanna talk about this. <laughs> she's fun though. I'm on my phone, by the way, I asked on Instagram, so if you didn't ask a question, fuck out of here. What's one of your biggest fears? Oh, this is gonna get kind of deep, heartbreak. Like, I fear heartbreak, dude. If you've ever gone through it, that shit, like, ooh. <laughs> It hurts. Other than that, spiders. Heartbreak is not one of my biggest. I don't know why that just came to my mind right now. Dying in like a horrible way, like being attacked by a shark or eaten alive by tigers. Now this next question is really appropriate. Which cheese is the king of cheeses? For about 10 years of my life, my mom would make me a sandwich every day for school. And you know what cheese she would put in it? Moonster, Moonster, Moonster. And I love that sh It was so good, it was so good. 
Like you can't go wrong with Munster. There is a cheese that we always have at like Thanksgiving or Christmas. It's like you eat it with crackers. It's called Borsin. It is a soft creamy cheese available in a variety of flavors with a flavor and texture somewhat similar to cream cheese. That shit, oh my God. And here is sharp cheddar, mild cheddar, and Monterey Jack. When did you first realize you were in love with Isla? Isla's my friend, and I honestly probably realized that probably when we hid from like a teacher in the bathroom. Did that happen? Because I I had pictures in my phone, and it looked like we were hiding from someone. And I don't think we would have hid from a student, like another friend. So it must have been a teacher. Next question. You single? Depends who you're asking. Just kidding. No, I'm not single. I'm double. <laughs> double D's. <sighs> that wasn't funny. I have a boyfriend and guess who asked that question? My boyfriend, so I think he wants his, I think he wants like recognition. How hairy are your toes at the moment? I actually was in the shower the other day and saw them and was like, Fuck. Like I need to shave them shits. I can't show you. And I don't think you want to see. And I just got foot all up in my mac and cheese. So thanks. Take it. Mmm. If you could only wear one pair of shoes for the rest of your life, which would it be and why? Okay, coming from a comfort standpoint, my Adidas slides. Oh those shits. My bunions. Cry tears of joy when I wear them. <laughs> no, but they're so comfy. I feel like I wear them every chance I get. And people are probably like, Sierra, where, like, why don't you have other shoes? But from a fashion standpoint, I really like my Air Max 97s. Now I only have one pair and they're not a very like matchy kind of print. They're the JDI edition, so it says just do it all over them. And like, yeah, I wear them with a lot of things, but like they don't, like I can't just, they're not like a black pair that I could just throw on, you know? Um, but those are really cute. <gasps> Wait, I just remembered my classic white Hirachis. Oh my God. I did not know comfort in a sneaker until I got those. Like those are my comfort sneaker shoes. I also have another version of Hirachis. I don't know what they're called, but they look different. Those are also really comfy. Do you have the coronavirus? In parentheses, serious question. No. You know what? I was honestly laying in my bed crying last night, worried that I have it. So thanks for bringing it up. But I'm gonna go with no. This is so rich, it's making me sick. What's the nastiest thing you've ever smelt? Honestly, I'm kind of still scarred to this day, but when we dissected a frog in seventh grade, that shit, like, sometimes I'll smell something and I'm like, oh my god, it smells like that frog we dissected. Or breath. When people have bad breath, I can name a couple people. Disgusting. <laughs> I can tell you the nastiest thing I tasted. It was a sushi place. And I got ramen. And it tasted like a farm. Oh my God, and I remember telling, it wasn't even my server, it was like some random girl. Not, she worked there, but I was like, hey, this is really cool. And I eat everything, you guys know, you, I eat I will, even if I don't like it, I'll eat it. Cause I have an eating disorder. <gasps> Just kidding, that's not funny. But I am a pig. Um, but I told her like, this is really gross. And she was like, yeah, nobody likes it. <laughs> Oh, then why did my server let me order it? Fucking bitch. Anyways, next question. Always bring the banana to your face, not your face to the banana. Do you agree? No, not always. I mean, yeah, that's like protocol, like bring it to your face. But sometimes like I'm being silly and I'm just like, so no, I don't agree. What is the most expensive thing you own? That's a good question. I feel like I don't own a lot of expensive things. Maybe my laptop. My laptop probably. It's a Mac. My car. It's a Dodge Charger or whatever. <laughs> Who's asking though? You asked. 
Next question. If you can have any superpower, which would it be? A fast metabolism. Next. Fave alcoholic beverage. Y'all know I used to be a Tito's water and crystal light kind of girl. Skinny legend drink. Like if you're trying to be a skinny bitch, Tito's water crystal light. Lemonade, of course. But if I had to take a shot, tequila. Oh, I love tequila, but it doesn't love me. Mm, recently though, I was put on to gin and tonics. My boyfriend's going mad if I don't shout him out. So shout out my boyfriend because he did put me on and he loves to tell me that he put me on. But them shits were made for me. They're so good. So if you haven't tried one, literally gin, tonic, lime. So good. And I use diatonic because like I said. Uh, I guess that is a good amount. I feel like full. Oh. All right, next question, and it's the last question. Fave genre of music and current favorite song. Honestly, my fave genre is, I feel like rap, even though I listen to like a good amount of a lot of different kind of mute like songs. I do like, you know, slow stuff too, but anyways. And my favorite song, I'm just looking through my music because like, I don't know. You guys, this freaking album, the whole thing is so good. So good. And this isn't even like my type of music. Well, I guess it is. It's really good. My favorite song is probably Trial by Fire. Oh, I just can't. I can't. I can't get enough of it. I can't. Also, Suicide Boys, Putrid Pride really good song i really i mean not that this was like a challenge video that i was supposed to like eat it all but i kind of really failed last bite oh. i'm gonna have a headache and a stomach ache all right, you guys. Well, thank you for watching. I feel delirious from all the cheese. I'm pretty sure there's like an enzyme or like a, not an enzyme. I don't know what it's called, but like the same thing that's in cheese that's in crack that gives you the same feeling of like you needing more. Like there's, that's the, they're both in that. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to go make this though. It's fire. Okay.